Hi everyone, this is part two of my house flipper videos, so in this part we'll be completing a few more jobs. Let's start with radiators. This message says, I will pay you if I'm fully satisfied or you will get nothing. Winter is coming. The winters are hard, and there are no radiators in my house. Mount them. What a ray of sunshine. So this one shouldn't take too long, we just need to mount some radiators. To find out where the radiators need to go, we're just going to go into every single room and it will come up in the task tab and say mount devices if you need to place a radiator in that room. We're going to start by placing a radiator in this bedroom. So all you need to do is put it on the wall and then you need to assemble it. It's very easy. If you're not sure what you're doing, just click on those parts and something will go into place. Once the radiator has been assembled, you'll go back to the room view. We've unlocked a new skill point, so let's see what that is. Click on the tab button to open your tablet, so it's a handyman skill point. The handyman skill covers fitting, plastering and tiling, so we can complete those faster by unlocking those perks. I chose the 20% faster mounting option, as it's more useful right now as we're fitting radiators. Nothing is needed in the kitchen. If you're not sure where you're going, just open every single door and walk into every single room. Again, nothing is needed in this room. Well, finally, so we can mount another radiator in the office. So we buy one from our tablet and then we can place it on the wall again and then assemble it again. It's not the most exciting job, but someone's got to do it. We're only halfway complete on our progress bar, so we need to find the next room. I think there's only one room left. There it is. So there's two items that we need to mount in this room. We'll be able to place a sink here once we've unscrewed these caps. So click E and unscrew all of these and then we can buy a sink. Just click and hold to unscrew them. Now we're going to head back to our tablet and buy a sink. So let's type in sink. We're just going to go for the mountable sink there. And then we can assemble it. So this is trickier than, than a radiator, but it still works the same. It will show you different sections and then you can just click on the parts. And if they move, then they are the right part. If they don't move, then just click on a different part. You'll see it'll go red if you're trying to move the wrong section. So just, just click <laughs> and you'll soon find the bit that you need. One more item left to install now, and that is the towel radiator. So again, we're going to search for it on our tablet. Place it on the wall and then assemble. And that completes this order. We've also unlocked a new skill point. So that is another handyman skill point, which will be very useful. We 
We're going to use the skill point on fitter again, so this is now 50% faster. And we can now click enter to complete this job and head back to our office. Let's complete a second job now. So this one says Amaranth Walls. Bonjour. I want my house to look a bit more arty. Can you please paint some of the walls in the living room? Amaranth. The remaining walls should look stunning in grey. Oh, I almost forgot. Can you please replace the broken electrical socket? Mercy. Amanda Johnson. You know what that means? Painting requires a new tool. So we have now unlocked a brush. Let's head inside the house and see what we need to do. So in the little entrance hall the task is to mount a device and then if we go into the living room it says paint with the colours amaranth, adventure and grey. So let's start with the device that we need to mount. Looks like this one down here. So let's click E to assemble it. Again, just click on it somewhere and it should move. I like that because it doesn't cost you any money to replace those. So let's head into the living room now and we're going to start some painting. Firstly we need to buy those exact colours that it says there from our tablet. So go to the walls section and then go to paint or you can just search for those colours if you find it easier. So we're looking for Amaranth Adventure and Grey. You need those exact colours, you don't want a different version of Grey, you need just Grey. Otherwise it won't complete the task. That's both the colours we need, so now we're going to start painting. Firstly, if something's in the way of a wall, then it's a good idea to move it. So we're going to move the sofa out of the way, just so I can get to this wall better. Now to get your paint roller, you need to right click to bring up the wheel. And then the third one is paint. So once the roller is out, hold over your paint tin to fill your roller and then you can start painting on the walls. I forgot how slow it was in the beginning without all the perks. When you first begin, you can only paint one strip of wall at a time. It's very tedious. And you need to refill your roll up when it is empty. So go back to your paint tin, hold over it to refill it again. Really, it's even slower than this because I've sped this up a bit. You probably don't need to see every single part of the wall being painted, so I'm going to cut a lot of this out. But you do need to paint every single strip fully to complete this. It's really a pain when you get to like 98% and realise that you've not completely painted one section, so you have to go and find it. And we've unlocked a new skill point in painting, which is great, we need to get that on straight away. So go back to your tablet. And you'll see basic painting, instant painting and paint more. So it says you won't waste paint on already painted walls, which is the first one. That's the one I'm going to go for right now. You've also got 25% faster painting and paint two walls at the same time. So as you increase these perks, you will get faster at painting, which is great. In total, you'll be able to paint four walls at the same time. You'll be 75% faster at painting and you waste 40% less paint. So it's definitely worth upgrading them as soon as you unlock the new skill point. I finished painting my first wall amaranth. I'm going to paint the rest of them grey. And again, I won't show you all of the grey. It does get very tedious. Probably as tedious as watching paint dry. Sometimes if you have leftover paint, you can sell it. Otherwise, if it's empty, you can just dispose of it. 
I'm going to move the sofa back now because we've finished painting that wall and I need to get to the wall by the table. We've unlocked our next skill point, so let's go back up to our tablet. I think this time I'm going to go for paint two walls at the same time. It just makes it a lot quicker. See, that already looks so much quicker. It's going to be amazing when we can paint four sections at the same time. I've run out of paint but I haven't finished yet so I'm going to have to go back to the shop and buy another one. And one more section to go. Fabulous. We have completed this room now so let's go around the house and see what else we need to complete. I love these two colours, they go really well together. Let's check out this room, let's see if anything needs to be done in here. Nope, this room is fine. Nothing in the bathroom needs doing either. So there must be something in this final room. And there is. So there's one device we need to mount. Oh, it looks like it's down there. So let's assemble that. And that completes this job. Before we finish though, well, I'm going to sell the leftover paint we've got, just so I can make a little bit of money back. £8, lovely. Now we've done that, we can click on the enter button to complete this job and head back to our office. In part 3 of House Flip Up, we'll be completing even more jobs. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it and please subscribe to my channel, so you can be notified when the next video is available. You can also find all my House Flipper videos in my playlist. Thanks for watching. Bye.